Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs>Today I'm here with Grace. Hey guys. And what have you always wanted to learn, Grace? Uh, well, Japanese probably, but this is like on the top three. Tie dye. Tie dye. Oh, that's a coincidence because today we are learning how to tie dye T-shirts. Oh, what a coincidence! And we've got our friend Lucy here, who is an expert at tie dyeing. Hi. <laughs> the last time I tie dyed anything, I think I was like eight years old, and I have no idea what I did. And um, when's the last time you tie dyed? Um, a few weeks ago, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. It exists on a video that lives on YouTube. Lucy, our expert, is going to now talk us through everything we need to know about this process. So step one, you're going to take this. It's soda ash. It's a dye fixer so that the color stays in the shirt. So you want to put it in like a two gallon tub of warm water and soak your shirts in there for 20 minutes. You don't eat it. Dip it in you there. Shove it in yeah. together, yeah. Step two is you need to put your gloves on so that this doesn't happen to you. It's a mess. We're putting gloves on. This video is gonna go viral! I could pop this glove so easily, but I shouldn't. I don't! <laughs> don't pop no, it! No, the whole reason that you're putting the gloves on is so it doesn't have holes in it. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna look way cooler when it's tie dyed. Debatable. Yeah. <laughs> Life's all about dipping some shirts in some chemicals and then seeing where it takes you. Put that on a shirt and then dip it in some chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, do you prefer the V or do you prefer the round? V? Or do you prefer the D? <laughs> Step three is to pick the design that you want to do on your shirt. And there's several different ways that I'm going to show you, but there's like a twisting motion. There's ones where you can make it ribbed. You could do little pinches. There's like all kinds of different ways. I want to do a circular twisty one. Let's do it with the rubber band. Okay, so what, it's all about first or that? Yeah. And now, just Circle and make sure that you get it kind of tight. Okay, Louis has chosen obviously a more difficult design. But uh, you want to try and do I'm just it in. A more difficult person. Now you're going to actually dye it. So you're going to take your dyes, which we've made a bunch of, and um, basically just spray them on there. It looks like Dexter. Right? <laughs> totally. But I know, blood on a dye. plastic uh, tarp and everything. Yeah. You're a blood splatter analyst. It's like, you know, very cathartic on a lot of levels. Like, you know how you, see, the, you, know, you see those chefs on TV, like put oil in a pan with one of these things? It's like that. I like the purple. Oh, the yeah, purple is cool. it's pretty. The great thing about tie dyeing is you can basically make it up as you yeah. go along. You, you can do any design, you can just throw colors all over the place and it, it's going to look cool at the end. Everyone is an artist when it comes to tie dye. Do you need help? Maybe, yeah. Can you help me? Yeah, I'm just going buck wild on this. Yay! Yay! Oh, yeah, get in there. <laughs> this looks good. Uh. And now for step five, we are going to wrap our shirts, our readily finished, pretty, colorful shirts, in plastic bags so that the dye can soak for a little bit, let it sit. Whilst we're waiting for the dye to soak in, it's a very important part of the process to eat Brussels sprouts whilst you're waiting. Wait until they get cooler though before you eat them. Really hot. Here, get these little crispy pieces. Mm -mm. A lot of my friends don't like Brussels sprouts. I hate those people. Okay. You reveal yours first. Okay. And then I'll, I'm less confident about mine. You are? Why? Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually, I agree. Oh. Dip, dip, dip. Oh, Whoa. Oh, that does look cool. Oh. I love that the sleeves are red. Yeah, wow. me too. Yeah. It looks like I'm bleeding out of my armpits. And I like the spacing. <laughs> cool. On a scale of 1 to 10, how likely are you to wear this? Like a, like, like a ten. Yeah. Like a full on ten. It just looks Ooh. like a multicolored turd. This yeah. is gonna be fun. <laughs> Wait, where's the left? You put way too much color in there, Lou. I know. Yeah, I'm so I excited. Know. I got okay. too, I got too excited. I think it'll be fine. Oh, it's cool. Whoa. Okay. Oh, that does look kind of cool. Yeah. Psychedelic. It looks yeah. awesome. Sick. Yeah. I Very like cool. it. This is better. This is in the competition. And now for step six. Um, we are going to hang the shirts on the clothesline to dry. Oh, oh no. Hello, oh, you no. have one this job. Is the part. This is the most what difficult. What an idiot. We gotta get another. Oh, I've broken both pegs. I've broken You're both too pegs. strong. 
<laughs> they just broke. They just crumbled in my fingers. He was too excited about his shirt. They just hopped out and broke all the pegs. Oh no! Finally, for step seven, we are going to put the shirts in the dryer so they're actually dry. And then step eight, put your shirt on and look super cool. I think my t-shirt looks a little bit like vomit. Yeah, like a unicorn puked all over it. Oh. But that's okay. Yeah, yeah I unicorns like unicorns. Have yeah. To puke too. If anyone thinks they can do a better job than us, what you should do is follow the instructions that you've learned on this video and make your own tie-dye t-shirt and then send us photos on Twitter or all well, those places. We will definitely look at them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I also filmed a video, a fun video on Grace's channel. Yeah. So you need guys need to click on her. Go and check that out now. Louis was praising people on my channel. Yes. It went a solid medium. Yeah. But go check it out. <laughs> she gave me five out of ten. And uh, my fingers have gone green. And there's a squirrel over there, look. God, I look like an emo goth sitting next to you right now. I don't know what's happened. I think the sun happened. The sun happened. happened to you and somehow a vampire got to me in the middle of the night, which is great.